Hello and welcome back to the grand return of the Spanish campaign. Now, I've been gone for so long. As some of you know, I was moving across the country for new jobs with my wife and new jobs are going great. The move was great, but I did suffer some unfortunate damage to my computer during the move. So we're hoping that everything is back to normal. Uh, computer hasn't crashed in about a day, so I'm gonna go back to trying to make these videos. Now I'm gonna try my best to put up a video as often as possible, but I probably will not be able to reach that one video per week per series pace that I had before my break. I'm just gonna get a video up whenever I can. So thank you very much for tuning back in. I hope you all have missed this campaign. I know I have. Let's do a quick recap on where we're at because I don't expect you to remember where we are at in a campaign that has not been running for like a month and a half. So we are up to 44 regions, just six regions away from the victory condition for the long campaign. We're at war with the Brutii, the Egyptians, and the Britannians. And besides them, the only factions remaining are Parthia, Pontus, and Scythia. So we are down to just the last few remnants of this world as Spain conquers all. We've pushed the Brutii back almost entirely out of Greece. We're now pushing into Macedonia. The front line is the Larissa Thessalonica border. We're besieging Salona. And we're putting together an army to send up to Yuvavum to take that off the Brutii. So the Brutii are really on the back foot right now. They don't have a lot of strength left. In the north, we are besieging Londinium right now with Kerbasi the Conqueror. And we could actually take this city this turn thanks to Norbert the Elephant. So we might do that to get this episode started. And in the south, Gurgri the Butcher has a ragtag mercenary army that he's using to besiege the Egyptians because they dared to besiege, I believe, one of my ports. It's been a little while, but they started it. I'm certain of that. So the Egyptians are going to lose Cyrene. And they were also sending a small army maybe to pick up Lepkis Magna. Not sure what their plan was with that army out in the desert over here, but we'll keep an eye on them with our spy, maybe see if we can spot any other armies on the major road. No, I don't see any at this moment. Let's get this episode started by taking Londinium off the Britons. Let's see what they have. No general, so that's good. Chosen swordsmen, some heavy chariots, and some slingers. Should be fine. We have so many cavalry, we should be able to overwhelm them. Let's get back into this campaign. This is what you see when the Spanish roll into town. Not pretty. All right, let's get Norbert in there. Hopefully we don't take too many shots from the slingers because Norbert has the potential to run amok. But those basic slingers that the Britons use have really horrible range. So I'm pretty hopeful that we'll be able to avoid most of the damage from them. But let's get Norbert nice and close to this gate. Which will speed up how quickly we can start knocking down that gate. And then go ahead and knock down the gate. And we'll get our massive horde of cavalry pulled up, ready to charge in and just slaughter this army. Can go ahead and exclude the weaker units just use the full strength units come on up here and there we go the gate has been knocked down let's get norbert out of the way because these huge elephant hitboxes tend to block the charge of cavalry and let's get a couple units inside the city we'll do them just a couple at a time i've learned that's the most effective way to do this no one's nearby, so we can take our time getting everyone inside the city. Alright, we've got some slingers coming over. Let's slow this down. Yeah, this is just slingers, so we can chase them off with our cavalry. They should skirmish and run back to the city center. They honestly might break here. Shaken. Broken. Perfect. Go ahead and run them down, and we'll keep working on getting more cavalry inside the city. And just a few more to run down. Beautiful.
And now we can use Norbert a little more liberally if we feel like we need to. Because they don't have any ranged units outside of those slingers. And now those slingers are gone. Alright, let's get this cavalry a little bit closer to the city center. This is not going to be a difficult battle. Let's just get Kerbassi in here to help out with morale if needed. But I really doubt it will be. Alright, let's charge these British heavy chariots... Hopefully we can just stop their momentum and then cut them down. They're at their most dangerous when they're moving, like right now. But as long as we don't have any breaks, if we can stop their momentum, we should be able to just rip through them. There we go. Enemy general's dead. And, wow, still eager. So not going to have any morale issues, apparently. But they're down to half strength. We'll go ahead and finish them off. And broken. There we go. So just some Chosen Swordsmen on the city center now. Let's get Norbert in here. He can fire some arrows at these Chosen Swordsmen. And we can finish off Londinium. All right. So Norbert has arrived. We're going to try not to lose any elephants. We're just going to maybe have Norbert hang out nearby. We'll let him get the finishing shots on the city center once we've killed them all. Let's get our cavalry in here. Just get in there, get some kills. The Spanish Horde. Not what you want to see coming into town. We do not come in peace. Oh. As always, Chosen Swordsmen are holding up well, but yeah, they are just so outnumbered. They have no hope here. You know what? They are holding up surprisingly well. Look how many casualties I'm taking. They're killing like 10 of my horses for every one of them I kill. Okay, they're wavering. They won't break on the city center, but they're down to 44. I'm going to take a lot of casualties in this battle. I just hope there's a lot of population in Londinia. You never know with these barbarian settlements, though. Okay, down to 22. And now the enemy are down to four chosen swordsmen in the city. So we'll go ahead and pull our cavalry back and let Norbert have the honor of the final blows on Londinium. Come on, Norbert. You know what to do. Fire at will. This could take a while. Oh, actually, no. Usually their armor holds up pretty well. They're going to break immediately once they walk off the city center, but we're not going to let them get off that easy. Shockingly, they are eager. So maybe they won't break. Okay, wavering. Continue battle. We're not going to let them die with honor. We want them shot in the back. Perfect. Clear victory. We took a lot of casualties. About 400 cavalry died in that slogging match with the Chosen Swordsman. But that's alright. Londinium is ours. Good start to our comeback to this campaign. So if we were to enslave Londinium, we would be enslaving 8,600 population, which means the population currently is at about... 17,200 because enslaving takes half of the population. So we could, the question is, do we have stables here? Okay, we have stables, but we don't have warlord stables, so we won't be able to repair our long shield cavalry. Let's occupy for now, and this might be a little bit difficult to hold on to, but we'll go ahead and train up a lot of peasants. And I want to construct a Warlord Stables here so we can repair our long shields. We want them to be nice and strong for the rest of taking the UK. The UK in its present not-UK form. And then we will send them over to help out with the Germans, who we're technically at peace with, but that won't last for long. It never does in very hard. Now let's see if we have any mercenaries just to help out with public order a little bit. 
Send them back to Londinium. We might have rioting for one turn. Yeah, 20% public order. We definitely will have rioting. Look at that settlement income. 2100 trade income just from sea exports to Conte Redonum and Semero Briva. Glad we got the city. It's great for the economy. And somehow we have a 2% slavery bonus for Londinium. I guess we did recently enslave Samuro Briva and Conde Redonum. That's probably what that is. Or actually, I bet what that is, is we have a slave trader for Kerbasi, and one of these two settlements has the slave bonus from being recently enslaved. Yep, Samuro Briva. And actually, maybe both of these settlements, honestly. We probably should have enslaved Londinium, but I want to have one population center on this island at a minimum, just so we can train some troops here. What I will go ahead and do is get Norbert the Elephant outside of Londinium, because we definitely will have at least one turn of rioting in Londinium, so I don't want to lose any of my precious elephants in the rioting. All right, last time we ended at the end of a turn, so there's not much that we need to do right now, but I want to take a look at Larissa because we will need more heavy infantry in this area to continue pushing back the Rudii. Let's get some Scutari at Larissa. And can we retrain any of these troops? We'll retrain these troops. Probably just get them a little bit of better armor. Yeah, from armor. We have some decent mercenaries here. We've got Cretans. But this, this army is pretty battered. What have we got in the region? Not a lot. We'll train some decent infantry, some Scutari. Train up some Scutari that are damaged. We want some better troops in this area. At Apollonia, we should probably repair that stone wall. And retrain some troops from the last attack of the Brutii here. Next turn, we can take Salona off the Brutii. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Oh, I remember we were chasing, I believe, a fleet with a huge army on it in the Black Sea. We'll have to take a look at that. All right, what's this? Is this the fleet with the generals on it? Oh, hopefully we don't lose that. Okay, yeah, we do have rioting in Londinium. Everything's a bit chaotic right now as I'm remembering what was going on in this campaign. New suitable husband for Kunoarda. 32, been in the war's confident commander. Honestly, pretty good general. Where are you, Carolus? Yeah, they're always in Carolus. All right, how many generals are on this fleet? Two generals, Gurgury and Bilo the Allergites. We make it to a dock. Yeah, we'll go over here. So, Kirta will train up some more ships, repair the ships that are holding Gurgury II and Bila, and we'll get them sent out to pick up the new general at Carolus and redistribute those generals in no time. Let's take a look at our end of turn report. We lost 50, 5,500 denarii, but for next turn, we're projected to profit 27,000. So we're doing well. Gartsy the Honest has a silk merchant for extra trade income. Tavium, that's an all right place for a silk merchant. Do you have a lot of trade? 500 is not that great. Any of these cities have better trade? Let's check out Redium. Redium is up to 1382. Riminum. 479. We might want to send this general down to Redium. Just if we're going to get the 10% bonus trade, may as well put him in the right location. Go this way and get over to Redium next turn. Apatavium, we will train up some peasants and some Scutari for public order now that we've lost that general. And let's take a look at the rest of our announcements. So Aquincum has been besieged. Ooh, uh, well, who's in this army? A lot of ranged troops is what we can see for now. Probably not a lot of heavy infantry because they've lost most of their huge cities. But we'll take a look. Let's repair some of our troops so we're in fighting shape and let's just sally out and see what this army looks like so no general three units of proper heavy infantry some hastati pretty bad honestly 
a lot of ranged units. So we want to take out those Archer Auxilia and those Ballistas early, but we should be able to handle this pretty easily. How is Tiberius Paulinus? Very good. Good morale, good command, can take a hit. Let's go ahead and just see if we can repel this army now. All right, we're not going to want to go out of the front gate because of those Archer Auxilia and Ballistas. They'll just rip us to shreds. Let's get outside of the city at one of the side gates. Can we get out over here? Over here, perfect. We'll use this side gate. Let's get all of our cavalry here. Hopefully we don't crash the game by putting too many cavalry in this little corridor. Come on, go here. There you go, get our general. And we'll leave our Scutari on city center. They won't be much use to us. We'll go ahead and end deployment and we'll send them out of the city all together because they're already jumbled up here. It's going to take a while. We'll just let them sort themselves out. Get outside the city over here. All right, we're outside of the city and no real reaction from the broody eye yet. Let's draw up like this. Let's see if we can spot where their heavy infantry is. Probably just this front line, right? Praetorians, Legionaries, Stadi. Okay, so this side is looking weaker. Is this where the Arch Auxilia are? Yes. So we probably want to hit this side harder than the other because it's weaker and some of their more dangerous units are over there. Hopefully these Velites won't even get into the action if we attack over here. So let's fast forward to when our army has pulled up a little bit. They are trying to match us. Yeah, they're drawing up opposite to us, which is good. That's always good. Let's take our best units of cavalry with the most experience and stack them heavy on this side. We'll group them off. Then we'll grab the other units of cavalry. And let's actually give a little more to that other half of the army, but we'll have some of our cavalry over here. They will group off, and these two can join this group. We'll have them drop right. That's a little too thin. There we go, like that. All right, are they really attacking with their general's unit? Are we sure that's the plan? I'm gonna let them just get as close as they want. And then we're gonna attack with this flank unit. If we can catch their commander right here, oh my goodness. I don't advise this, but yeah, they're not even gonna get a good charge in. This is this is gonna go great for them. <laughs> Enemy general's dead. Beautiful. All right, even if we lose these units, that's not a big deal. But now that we've killed their commander, we actually don't have anything else we need to achieve with this little side unit. So we'll pull them back. And then we can go ahead and commit our stronger flank. We'll actually split this into two halves. You go attack the, what are you? Okay, this is the Archer Auxilia. So go attack the Archer Auxilia on the flank over here. You four can attack these Histadi. And what's this, War Dogs? You guys can deal with the War Dogs. Let's keep my general nearby just in case any morale issues arise. And... Where are the heavy infantry? Heavy infantry are at the center over here. Probably shouldn't be charging them. We'll let the incendiary pigs run amok. That's fine. They can do their thing. You guys, are you getting the Archer Auxilia? Yes. Okay, they're broken. That's good. Let's get these Illyrians. You can deal with the Roman Cavalry Commander's unit. We've got two breaks over here. Okay, the whole army is starting to rout. Praetorians have broken. Perfect. Run them down. You chase these guys down. Yeah, this army is done. So we'll just wrap up all of the stragglers, everyone who's fleeing. Let's get our general in here. He can help with the Praetorians and just kill as many Romans as we can. Let's send some cavalry down to deal with these Archer Auxilia, all these units that are fleeing the battlefield. Uh, maybe hit these early legionaries in the back because they're still wavering. They haven't broken yet. There we go, broken. And go get some kills, guys. Have fun. We've taken out all of the most dangerous units, though. So even if they survive the battle, which they won't. Yeah, they're at 84%, 85%. We could honestly go ahead and end this battle, but 
we might get a shove of experience somewhere if we let this battle go on a little longer. So we'll get a few more kills. Enjoy some dead Romans. Run them down. Guys, run them down. What are you doing? We're just running back and forth. There we go. Nice dramatic shot. Come on. There we go. Run them down. Okay, we're going to end the battle. Good job, guys. You did the thing. Big victory. Heroic victory. Tiberius Polinus is so good at killing Romans. I wonder why. I wonder why. All right. Now, at Quincum, what were we building here before? Oh, that was just our Warlord's Hold. So, hmm. Let's go for communal farming here. Let's get that population growth rate up as much as possible. And can we buy any mercenaries here? We'll buy some Illyrians. That's fine. We can leave them here to defend the city. We could take out Captain Queso. This looks like a pre-Marian army with no general. So, honestly, that would be a pretty easy victory. Let's see. Do we need any repairs? I don't think so. We might just go do that right now. Just kick them out of the region. Just so they don't reunite with the general's unit. How's this army look? That's pretty good. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and queue up some construction. Commenter left a good point. At this point in the campaign, I probably don't need to be selecting buildings each turn for each city. I can probably queue two or three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for some of these cities where we know what we're going to be building. We have a High King's Hall for Narva Martius and Massilia finally up to minor cities in those two settlements. And how much money would we get off a of great market? Not a lot. But there's not really much we want to do with these settlements. They're so far away from the front line of any kind of a battle. Yeah, we'll go with a shipwright. That increases the trade quite a bit. Massilia, is a shipwright the right choice for you as well? Yeah, that's a good amount of money. And then, uh, like I said, I was going to queue multiple. So we'll do a great market after the shipwright. And then we'll hold off in those two settlements because we don't really have any have any need for anything other than trade in these cities right now. At Kydonia, we have our Hall of Heroes. There's nothing else we need to work on. We'll get some peasants because public order is having issues now that we're up to 12,000 population. Kind of crazy to have that much population in Kydonia. Sam Roberva, we have our communal farming. We'll go for a stockade, then a meeting hall. No, stockade, then stables, and then a blacksmith. Sam Roberva could potentially be used for training troops at some point, but still at 2,600 population, probably not going to happen anytime soon. Let's bring down the tax rate to low just to get that population growth rate up as high as possible. At Aquincum, we have our Warlord's Hold for large town, so we have a communal farming queued. And we'll go for a stockade after that and stables after that. At Apollonia, we repaired our walls and there's nothing else to build here. Mikolos of Sigontia and Kunoarda got married. Congratulations to them, adding to the never-ending pile of generals spitting out of Carolus, the most useless settlement in the world. But that's all right. Now, we were going to attack Captain Queso with Tiberius Paulinus. Let's see what kind of an army this is. Oh yeah, totally Primarian. Good quality, lots of experience. I mean, me melee attack of 14, missile attack 18, defense 22 is really good for Principes, but no general. Honestly though, how much heavy infantry do they have? One, two, three, four, five units. We can take them, but I'm gonna be cautious. We are outclassed in this battle. Um, we are slightly outnumbered, but I think with the advantage of a general and cavalry, we should be able to shock and awe them and make them break. But I'm still going to be a little bit cautious. We'll see. All right, let's start deployment. I like fighting in the fog. It's more fun. Let's see. We're going to go with a pretty standard approach. We'll just draw up the cavalry wide, and then we will allocate them based on where I find the weaknesses in their line. So let's take a look at their line. We have... Townwatch and Hastati over here in the middle. 
It's always hard to tell the difference between Principes and Astati. Okay, th those are Astati. I, I don't know exactly. The Triari are on their left. So that's their stronger side. Let's commit five units over here. Five units over here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just split the army in half. And we'll keep Tiberius Polinus nearby. This should be nice and quick. But you never know. I'm not going to speed this up because a battle like this with this much heavy infantry can go really poorly. All right, Prince of and Town Watch, we should be able to handle this with our five units on this flank. That I'm pretty sure about. All right. Tiberius Polinus, maybe don't walk all the way up to the front line. Maybe back up a little bit. All right, keep encircling these Principes and Town Watch. Stay close. And over here, okay, Roman Archers, Principes. Yeah, this, I'm not loving that this is kind of a pitched fight. You guys, maybe help out with these Principes. Just lock them up in battle, and then these Roman Archers should break on this flank. Let's attack these Principes and these Sestati. Keep the general moving back, get, it, get him out of harm's way. We just need one break. Uh, Roman archers, I'm guessing, will be the first break. They're wavering. Broken. Okay, that should help with morale. Now, charge these Velites. See if we can get a break over there. We have a break over here. Charge into the back of these war dogs. Estadi should break soon. Let's keep my general safe. Come on, Tiberius, keep moving. Keep moving, you coward. War dogs have broken, I believe, before they released the dogs. Maybe? Not quite sure. They might have released the dogs. But we can end this battle quick enough that they shouldn't do too much damage. I'm not too worried about the ballistas. They'll fire a couple of rounds. But they shouldn't do too much damage. Enemy, is dead. enemy commander is dead. Prince of S should break before long. And this battle will be over. Okay, 50 Hastati versus my general. He should be fine. He's got been in the wars, so he has some extra hit points. Should be able to handle those in study. All right, what is left? We've got some Principes over here. We'll send a good amount of cavalry to deal with them. Send some units of cavalry to deal with these ballistas. Let's check on Tiberius. Yeah, he's at the back, he'll be fine. He can handle these Hastati. Over here, we've got a break. We will recommit some of this cavalry to deal with other units. And these guys, they're being chased by war dogs, but they're chasing Hastati, so the war dogs can't reach them. So I'm just gonna let them keep doing what they're doing. Just just keep doing that. Iberius is still nice and safe. Over here, these guys aren't doing anything. They can take on the town watch. This unit, we will recommit to fighting these Equites. How we doing, Tiberius? These guys are holding up well. So like six chevrons of experience. Only shaken when they're outnumbered like seven to one? Romans are crazy. How easy would it be to just play a Roman campaign, you know? Okay. Some ballistas are getting away. Don't want them to get away. We've killed 91% of the enemy army. So I'm going to speed this up. I could go ahead and end this now. And they would disband. But we'll get some more kills in. All right, let's go ahead and end this battle. Oh, they haven't officially lost the battle, so something hasn't broken yet. What is the last unit? Uh, okay, Roman archers. Where's where's an actual unit? There we go. Won the battle. Heroic victory again. We did lose 474 cavalry, so we're taking a lot of casualties in this region, which is not ideal. Because we can't retrain them out of Quincum. But, I mean, I'm so tempted to take out Appius Ancio. I might just take out Appius Ancio. I know I'm losing the ability to retrain these units by merging them. But that's okay. We'll get reinforcements. Yeah, we'll chase down Appius next turn. And do we have any reinforcements we can send over? Probably not. Let's train up some cavalry at Ariminum and Aredium. And then we will commandeer a ship from somewhere. Do we have a ship anywhere? We'll get one at Apollonia and send it north to ferry the cavalry over to Segestica. Gabriel Carthagonova, how good are you? Okay, young guy, decent. 
has a good army though and you're going up against some pretty flimsy armies without generals so let's take on captain decimus first we want to get rid of the more decent army first so what do you got here oh wow bunch of barbarian mercenaries war dogs some cavalry this will be nice and quick we're just cleaning up the entire broody eye empire in one part welcome back to the spanish campaign all right we're gonna have the cavalry on the high ground bull warriors and scutari right here with the generals i'm not sure if i'm going to use the infantry or the cavalry more in this battle given how far away the enemy army is i might just use cavalry because they shouldn't take long to break at all since this is really flimsy units but we'll move the infantry up here have them on fire at will keep the generals nearby and we'll just see how the battle goes you never know this is a good experience for the general though maybe get Great commander. What is it? The third level superior commander. Let's speed this up a little bit. See if we can start the engagement nice and quick. All right, get a little bit closer. Get some damage with our javelins. And then we will bring the cavalry up. All right, I'm going to slow this down as they're moving a little bit closer. Let's get our cavalry a little closer as well. All right, move a little closer. Maybe get up to there. If I remember correctly, they don't have any missile troops in this army, right? They've got all the mercenaries, the dogs, cavalry. I don't think they have any missile troops. If they brought just a couple archer auxilia, that'd be helpful. But maybe they feel like they don't need it. Or maybe they just can't train them anymore. Can't blame them. They've lost most of their cities. So all right, let's get our cavalry up here. We might be skirmishing with their Roman cavalry soon. Get our bull warriors a little closer. They should be in range with their javelins any second now. Don't want our generals to push ahead of the infantry, but stay with them. There you go. And let's check on our cavalry. Are you skirmishing yet? No, not yet. All right, are we in range? Some of our units are in range, I believe. Yeah, getting some javelins in. Keep chasing. Keep our cavalry moving up. And once we throw a couple javelins in, we'll just charge in and end this battle. A couple more javelins, come on. You got this. Okay, they're using War Cry now. So I probably want to wait 30 seconds before I start a fight, just because they're going to have the highest attack right now. But uh, yeah, they're going to take a while to reach us anyways, so... I mean, yeah, who am I, who am I joking? These are mercenaries. They're going to break immediately anyways. Over here... Actually, this unit just charged off Rogue into these Barbarian Mercenaries, so might actually lose that. But let's get the rest of the cavalry into their commander's unit. Their war cry has worn off by now, so we can go ahead and charge in with our bull warriors and our generals, and we'll just end this battle. Enemy warlord, enemy commander has fled. Barbarian mercenaries are shaken. They should break here. Broken. Perfect. And I'll reassign one of the units to chase down these Roman cavalry. And yeah, the whole army's breaking. We'll just finish them off here. Yeah, just, just keep breaking things. Okay, we've one broken unit. Let's get my general over here to help out with morale. Get the infantry in here to help. I think the war dogs just surprised these Scutari and broke them. Come on. Yeah, it's the dogs that are scaring them. They have several units of dogs. But we'll get all of our infantry in here. Get our general in here. And let's get our other general in here as well. How about with the cavalry? Their morale is actually doing surprisingly well for being exclusively barbarian mercenaries against bull warriors. There we go. They've broken. We'll continue the battle, just wrap them up, and this should be over soon. Enemy commander is dead. Yeah, run them down. Nice and easy. 69%. We might not hit that 85% threshold for the enemy army to disband. 
Uh, yeah, we won't hit 85%. That's okay. What are we at? 82%. We're so close. Three more percent. Come on. Are we chasing all the all the appropriate units? Yeah, that's okay. We'll go ahead and end the battle. Killed 1,200 of them, and we only lost 254. So that's a good result for me. Where did they flee to? They might not have had a retreat square, so they might have just disbanded. But then again, we were inside of this territory, so they might have fled to somewhere within this region. I don't know. They might have disbanded, honestly. That's okay with me. Okay, let's bribe this little army just so I don't have to go to the effort of fighting them. And we have a lot of money. And let's send Gabrielle up to Yuvavum. We can pick that up in three or four turns. And that's the broody I kicked out of this whole region. We still have to pick up Salona. Um, maybe we do that right now just to formally kick them out. What do we got here? Canaius Paulus, their faction leader, and just a unit of Auxilia. This should be nice and easy. We've got Cretans, we've got heavy infantry. We'll go ahead and end this battle. All right, nice simple battle. We will knock down the gates and the wall on either side of the gates. Just get in the city as fast as possible. We'll bring our Cretans up to here, but they won't have a shot unless they come off the city center. So I doubt they will. We'll just go ahead and speed this up, get inside the city nice and fast, and let's get our heavy infantry prepared. We'll pull them up to here, get a general up here, get some cavalry. Yeah, this should be nice and easy. Alright, we're inside the gates, we're just waiting on the walls. They're nearly done. Well, not nearly done. Walls take much longer. Forget about that. And the enemy are still in the city center. Perfect. Let's go ahead and pull our heavy infantry inside the city. We will pull them up to this plaza here. Get our general in here. And then we'll get our Cretans in here to just get some shots on the Auxilia and the General on the city center. Alright, I'm going to slow this down. Enemy General's coming out to meet my Scutari here. I mean, he'll have some success here, honestly, because just 90 heavy cavalry. But we have so much infantry here that they don't really have a chance of winning this. Um, we're just going to have everyone go to fire at will and try to overwhelm them with infantry. I don't really want to use my general because I don't want to lose him. We need this general to fight the Germans. Probably that's probably going to be his next campaign. But how are we doing here? We've got some units that are shaken, wavering. Let's get our general around this end of the enemy general. Just encircle them. Make them feel the pressure. All right, everyone can attack the enemy general, surround them, hit them from the back, see if we can cause a morale issue, or at least just do some damage. Where's the general himself? That's the question. My general is kind of safe because no one's targeting him now, and luckily the javelins keep hitting the guys in front of him, but he's taking some hits. I might lose this general. Let's get my general out of here if possible. Enemy is down to 57, so the infantry can handle them. Enemy general is right here in front of, like, 30 Scutari, so he should go down any second here. Hopefully my general can get out in time, though. Down to 20. Yeah, come on, guys. Enemy general's dead, but my general is in danger. Let's just run. Let's just get him out of here. Yeah, I might lose my general here. Can, we, can the infantry do something? What are y'all doing? Get over here. Come on. All right. I think he's going to focus on the infantry. Good. We have one break, which is shocking. Um, we have two breaks. I will not have a mass route here. Oh my goodness. I might have a mass route here. Okay, let's get the, Cre the Cretans back. I don't want to lose them. 
Oh, goodness. Get my general in here. We'll rally troops, see if we can salvage this. Infantry is so bad. It's so frustrating. Okay, yeah. Mass route. Unbelievably, we have a mass route. Let's get some strength inside the city. Just everyone sit right here. Troops can reform, hopefully, and we can just set up another line of defense. All right, we have some bull warriors that are holding on and fighting. How many are left in the enemy general? 30? I mean, come on, we should be able to handle this, guys. Okay, everyone get back in there. If you've reformed, get back in there. Let's get my general on here. 26, and how many are stuck over here? Like 10, 15? I don't know how that route even happened, but... Okay, enemy general has broken. Let's get the Cretans over here. They will attack the Auxilia. Everyone else can hold off for now. Just just hang out. Cretans, fire at the Auxilia. You firing at the Auxilia? All right, that was hectic. I thought we were going to have a really embarrassing loss in my first video back on this channel. Uh, it looks like crisis averted. Can we get some shots on these auxilia? Maybe you go over here? Over here? There you go. What are you doing? Where, where are you off to? I, I told you not to come on the city center. Oh my goodness. Alright. Getting some shots into these auxilia with the Cretans. They're probably going to try and charge into my cavalry. We'll pull our cavalry back and get our infantry up here. Infantry. Can we, can we go up here and fight the infantry? It's kind of your thing, fighting Auxilia. They're shaken. They're down to 134. They're taking shots from the Cretans, so they shouldn't last for long. Hey, can you guys fight them? There you go. Wavering. And enemy have broken. But we don't just end battles when we're taking cities. I will never give up on that particular habit. So we're gonna we're gonna kill them the proper way, the Spanish way. We'll hold on to some of our some of our javelins. We we may have a need for them. Just get some kills for now. Drive them back to the city center. All right. The last of the broody eye are these generals cavalry that are just doing whatever this ritual is. Uh, some kind of a, a Roman religious dance, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But uh, what do you? You guys are, are ruining my monologue. Get in line. Ruining the surprise. There we go. So these are the last of the broody eye, and they're doing some kind of some kind of dance. What are these guys doing? Okay. Anyway, um, we have our own rituals on the TD Sniper channel, and uh, one of those rituals is how we take settlements. So, uh, gentlemen, fire at will. Oh, brutal! Not great aim. Not really sure how this is working, but yeah, this, it's, it's the spirit of things. All right. It's the spirit of things. There we go. What are you guys doing? This game has no problems. Um, it's very well made. It's definitely a modern video game. It was not made in 2004. Don't worry. How many, how many arrows are these guys going to eat? Can we please? Can we please kill them? Okay. C can we even reach the... How am I supposed to kill this guy? I know I don't have to, but I kind of have to. It's my thing. All right, Cretans, get over here. This is why we bring long-range archers, specifically to execute the cowards who are hiding in the alleys. There we go. We're in range. Fire. You you fire. Like, use fire. That's, right? We're, we're going to really embarrass this guy for being a coward. 
There we go. Wonderful. Oh, man, that accuracy. Come on, guys. Get him. Will we get him before we take the city center? That's the question. What? Really, guys? Is it that hard? There's like a hundred of you. Okay, here's the deal. If this guy manages to survive the rest of their ammunition, he can live. The one Roman we will ever let be a coward and survive. Ooh, that was a close one. Come on. Oh, we got him. Finally. Oh, my goodness. All right, you don't get to live. Clear victory. Not that clear. We lost 494 men to kill 253. But we killed the enemy faction leader. That was why we took so many casualties. So, oh, painful, but got to do it. Got to take the city. Salona is ours. And, oh, this is looking nicer and nicer every turn. Look how pretty this looks. We've kicked them almost entirely off of the Mediterranean. Two more settlements, and they will have no access to the sea. Oh, that's nice. Gots on the Wrathful got a slave trader, which is nice. Gets the population growth rate up a little bit at Salona. And we will go ahead and queue a few buildings here. We want to develop the city the rest of the way now that it's a minor city. And we can repair some of our troops that have been damaged. Honestly, nice to have a decent population center here. Gotson also got a body slave. And Gabi Rao of Carthago Nova got a Roman turncoat earlier from fighting those Brutii up in Patavium. Alrighty. Alright, so let's check on Londinium real quick. We, ooh, uh, we need to get the public order under control here. Could probably get these barbarian mercenaries into the city. Yes, we can. So that'll help a little bit. Don't want to lose the city right away. So let's merge some troops together. Can we get some? Hmm. This is difficult. Would this unit be able to reach? Maybe? I'm going to try. I don't know for sure. No, can't make it into Londinium. Yeah, we have some issues going on here. I wonder if training peasants or repairing really battered units of long shields will do more for public order because we can get more garrison out of repairing than we would be able to just by training peasants. But peasants removes population, which helps with squalor. So what's the bigger issue here? Squalor or garrison? I mean, squalor, but we're not going to be able to affect it very effectively. Sometimes just removing the general helps with public order a little bit. Now, 15%, he's got enough influence that it's helpful to keep him around. Mm. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to retrain. Oh, we can't even retrain the cavalry. That's the problem. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to queue up as many peasants as possible. And we're going to get the other general, Alros, inside Londinium. That brings us to 45%. And hopefully next turn, the unrest goes down a little bit. And the garrison goes up a little bit. And we hold on to the city. I'm not sure that'll work. I mean, I could just move the capital. Should I just move the capital for a turn? I'll just move the capital. We might have some riding elsewhere. But for one turn, we'll just move the capital up to Londinium. Londinium's fine. How much riding are we going to have? We're going to have a lot of riding. But that's okay. Actually, maybe not that much. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of riding. Okay, that's fine. But we'll hold on to Londinium and then we'll switch it back. Great. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get Norbert back inside Londinium. Now that it's not going to rebel, just because I don't want Norbert to get purchased by a diplomat from the Britons. So we'll keep him safe there. And I think that's a splendid place to end this part with uh, 
all of my settlements. Okay, maybe I should not end my part here just in case I forget to move my capital. I'm like, why do I have 12 settlements rebelling? All right, we're going to end this turn. And we're going to lose this battle. <laughs> and oh my god, we're going to have one more battle. Okay, this is going to be a long part. I'm fine with it. I owe you guys a lot of content since I've been gone so long. Okay, we've got our first battle with the Egyptians properly. Captain Thutmose and Captain Anonmos are going up against Gurgri the Butcher. I mean, he's got a horrible army, but you don't know who you're messing with. Look how long that trait sheet is. He's a bit paranoid. He's dubious. But he's an exterminator, so... Okay, we're going to see how he commands... Some pretty horrible mercenaries. All right, what do they have? So they have Egyptian chariots, which are just the melee chariots. So we're going to want to counter them with our hoplites. Bowmen, we should probably chase with the Libyans. And Captain Ptolemy, I'll have to see what his army is. But we got to win this battle. We are not letting Gurgri go out on a loss. All right, so first we're going to be fighting the army that we know. The one with the chariots. So let's go ahead and just get our super long spread out hoplites on one flank and hopefully we can walk them straight into the chariots. I don't know how exactly I'm going to deal with the other army because I don't know what they brought yet. But we're going to just deal with them as they come. Maybe we can get a peek. Okay, more chariots. Are these archer chariots? Oh, are those pharaoh's bowmen? Oh goodness, that's not good. And melee chariots. Okay. So, can we walk our hoplites into the enemy chariots? That's the question. If we can, this is a pretty easy win. Let's get our Numidians. Um, man, I don't know exactly. We're going to have our Libyans stand behind our hoplites and not skirmish. And I'm hoping to deal with this first army before the other army gets involved. I think that would be very advantageous. Let's get... Gurgury nearby, but I don't want to use him until these chariots have been dealt with. All right, let's get our... I, I feel like we should just keep pushing because I want to attack the bowmen. I don't want to give them a chance to fire at us. So let's get our Numidians over here. They can get some shots in. And let's get our hoplites to sprint. We want them to be here to attack the chariots. We're getting some shots on the chariots with our Libyans right now. So that's good. Yeah, they're going to take a good amount of damage, but they have a lot of hit points. So, yeah, I don't know. Come on. Let's get the hoplites up here. Drop drop your phalanx. Drop your phalanx. Drop your phalanx. Oh, God. Oh, no. Please don't break. Okay. Enemy chariots have broken for some reason. That's good. Chase them down with the Numidians. Let's get our Libyans to just charge into the bowmen. And we'll charge these bowmen with Gurgury. This works for me. And hopefully they will try to skirmish and just kind of lose their minds. Alright guys, stop firing your javelins at the weak archers that are fleeing. Go run down the Egyptian chariots. Come on. Okay. So first army's been dealt with. Let's prepare our infantry for the second army we'll just draw up our hoplites in front of our libyans again have them run into place just like that and let's check on our numidians so the chariots we're not going to catch up to them but if they just make it off the battlefield i'm fine with that just get out of here as long as they don't reform i don't really care what they do i just want them off the battlefield and then captain Ptolemy his little army this is scarier i hate pharaoh's bowmen i am scared of pharaoh's bowmen <laughs> all of those long range archer units with i don't know how much experience this unit has but they're they're so scary because they have good melee they have good armor they have good long range archers yeah they're they're scary units all right we have the high ground but we don't really want to rest knowing we have the high ground because it's not going to make a big difference against Pharaoh's Bowmen. Their range is so long that they'll be able to hit us regardless. I wish I could use Gurgri the Butcher, but against Chariots, it's just... It's difficult because he can just die. Okay. 
move up a little. We should just take Captain Tommy on. We want to get rid of him right away so we can just take the city. If we can take this whole army out, then the city is ours. Oh, I hate Pharaoh's Bowmen. Only 139 of them, so that's a good thing, I guess. Let's just sprint up. Let's get Gurgury up here. We'll get the Numidians up here. Just get in their business. And... Hopefully they won't have a chance to fire their arrows, and hopefully the chariots don't rip us to shreds. Oh god. Okay. Drop your phalanx and get behind the hoplites. Gregory, hang out back there. Alright, this is just a little awkward. Where are we at? Who's taking shots? Okay. So let's just keep moving forward with the mercenary hoplites run up with our Libyan mercenaries and just get some shots in on these Pharaoh's Bowmen. Where are our Numidians? Go ahead and run. And can we just chase down these Pharaoh's Bowmen, please? Stay nice and wide so we can stop the chariots when they charge in and keep running up with the Libyans. Get some shots in on the Pharaoh's Bowmen. Okay, we're doing good damage to them. And just go ahead and... Attack these Egyptian chariots. We're going to take some damage to our Numidians. There we go. Chariots have charged into the front of the Hoplites, losing about a third of their strength. Let's charge Gurgury into these chariots, and I'm going to have him hang back by rallying troops. And then we'll just charge into these chariots with the Numidians. And hopefully, since they've lost their momentum, they're down to 30, 25. There we go. Okay, they're collapsing. Perfect. Enemy general should die any second. Okay, enemy commander's dead. That's not a general, right? Yeah, just a commander. And then we will have our Numidians. You know what? No, let's just let's just send our general after the Pharaoh's Bowmen. We don't want them to fire any more arrows. Just stop them from firing, get them to skirmish, and then we should be able to finish them off pretty quickly. We will use rally troops again in a moment. Keep Gurgury the Butcher safe. They should break any moment. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Beautiful. Get as many kills as possible. See if we can disband this army. Come on. Just a few more. Run them down. Well done, Gurgri. Butchering as always. Alright, and let's see. We defeated 88% of the enemy armies together but i don't know maybe that was mostly the first army so we'll see if we get the city we yes we got the city okay we have a new suitable husband he's 41 honestly we're getting so many husbands because we've been expanding rapidly so we have a surplus of cities without generals so we'll get more offers let's go ahead and turn down Metagenus of Palantia. Uh, we've got Cyrene and oh no, this is not what we wanted to see. Okay, let's deal with Cyrene first. We'll check on it. Got to scroll all the way down. How unhappy is Cyrene? It's a pretty big city, surprisingly. We will enslave Cyrene. We want to keep at least half the population here because we will want to train some troops here. We'll knock down the tax rate. Why is it so unhappy? Oh, this is Trier. Why am I looking at Trier? Okay, can we look at Cyrene? There we go. There we go. That's what I suspected. 8,800 population. That makes more sense. Okay. So, in Cyrene, we will train some... We'll bring down the tax rate, train some long shields, train some Scutari, and then get some peasants for public order. That brings us to 60%, which will go up to probably 65% next turn once we have some troops built and the unrest goes down and we should be good to hold on to Cyrene. This army is really flimsy, so we can basically ignore that. And this army that attacked us, was it the army out in the desert here? Yes, okay. So we don't have to keep track of them anymore. This guy's dancing. Okay. Okay, G get it, yeah. He's very, very suspicious. He's looking all around. All right, you're gonna go back over in the direction of Egypt proper. We're gonna get some eyes on what might be coming our way from them? All right, we have rioting everywhere, as I suspected, but now we can move our capital back to Carolus. 
and that should resolve everything. So let's see if everyone is okay now. Let's check on Londinium. So they're at 45% public order, which isn't great, but it's better than it was before. They've had a turn to handle their unrest to get some more troops here to bring down the population a little bit. So what do we want to do here? Let's combine some troops and bring these peasants in the city. And then we have another unit of peasants. So we will combine. We don't need to combine any troops. We can bring that peasant inside the city. What are we at now? 60% looking much better. We'll queue one more unit of peasants. And in two turns, we'll have our warlord stables here so we can get our troops in fighting shape. Londinium should be all right with public order though. Now, Sam Robreva, this is a little bit concerning. What do we have here? Oh God, Night Raiders, attack of 15, defense of 11, fast moving, good morale, good stamina. Chosen Archer Warband, we know how deadly they are from our German campaign and our Dacian campaign. So, yikes. Okay, can we maybe just train some troops? No, we can't recruit any. Ooh, all right, let's see, uh, we'll get some troops going there. Conde Redonum. Can we train anything here? No. I'm thinking we're going to have to pull some troops back from Trier to assist. Oh, man. It's going to be difficult. We might have to take Oros or Kerbasi. Who's a better... Okay, Kerbasi has higher influence, so we'll leave him with Londinium. We might have rioting again next turn, unfortunately. Let's get together some strong units of cavalry. And see how much we can take. We'll take Oros and, I don't know, this much cavalry? I mean, this is going to wreck our public order. But we got to do it. We have to defend Samarobra. So we will go ahead and bring Oros and his army over on this fleet. Send them to Samarobra. And we will repel Captain Alfsund. And hopefully make it back to Londinium in time to save the city. All right, at Trier, we can't train any troops to defend against Captain Bava. We got some noble cavalry and one more unit. Any mercenaries? No mercenaries. And they have an assassin. He's pretty bad. So we can mostly ignore him. Hmm. We need to train some troops up, maybe? We have this army. Gabriel of Carthaginova. We'll send him up to take you of them, and then he can cut north to counterattack at Magantiacum, and that will push them back a little bit. And then Lovosius is mostly empty, and that looks like a either a Germanic town or a Brudii town, so we might pick that up as well. Tiberius Paulinus, maybe you could go. Hmm. I think Tiberius Paulinus might assist against the Germans as well. We can mostly turn our attention from the broody eye at this point. But let's take a look at the rest of our announcements. At Salona, we repaired our wooden wall. We'll just keep on repairing and building up what we were building up. We will retrain some troops because we had rioting. Gregory the Butcher got another famous warrior. We gave one to a younger general, but he's got famous warrior back. That's nice. Yugut's got a spice merchant. That's good. We have so many generals in earlier, so we're probably gonna to want to reassign them. And a merchant. Oh, Yugots is really good. Um, is this a good city for that? You're in Larissa? How much trade does Larissa have? Eleven hundred. That's pretty good. Let's check all of these cities. Ooh, thirteen hundred at Thurman. Sparta, seventeen hundred. Corinth, eighteen hundred. Oh my goodness. And 4,400 at Athens. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we already have a silk merchant with Dunoro Sigabriga at Athens. Do you have a merchant? You have a merchant as well. Okay. So we already have our best trader stationed in Athens. That's a crazy amount of income. Who are you trading with? Edonia? Oh, I just made that the capital on accident. Let's see. Uh, most of that money is coming from Sparta and Cadonia. Okay, wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, 
Let's get our capital back to Carolus. I did not mean to press that. There we go. And let's double check that public order is in check everywhere. It's not great because we had rioting, so some buildings were damaged. Build some more peasants in Thapsus. I still think it was worth it to not lose Londinium to rioting. But yeah, we do have a little bit of rioting everywhere else now. Anywhere we had rioting, we want to repair the buildings that were damaged. Make sure that public order is in control here. Cydonia, retrain these. No buildings were damaged. Corinth, repair those and retrain these. Thurman, got to make some repairs. Yeah, this was an expensive round of rioting, unfortunately. And more repairs here. That's 1,500 denarii. Yikes. 800 here. Asana, no repairs. That's good. Syracuse, no repairs. Lilibime, about 1,000. Yikes. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Everyone's fine. We won't do that again. Trier, I believe we actually already saw that Trier expanded and we, yeah, we purchased our Warlord's Hold here. We're going to be able to defend the city. Who's Captain Vava? Let's see what you brought. Oh, we can't see the other unit. Can we put a watchtower down? No, that doesn't help. We'll just have to hope that we can handle Captain Vava. Maybe if we talk to you. I mean, we could just bribe this, this army. I don't want to just automatically bribe them because that just sometimes feels a little cheap. That's an actual challenge. I'm going to leave it there. We'll deal with them next turn. We lost 15,000 denarii. That's to be expected. Had a lot of unrest. Spain and Thrace, we've broken our alliance because Thrace is allied to Germany, but Thrace is a pretty minor faction. Let's look at the territorial ranking of everyone who remains. So we are far in at first at 47. Egypt is at about 27. The Brudii have 10. Germany has about 7. Then Scythia, yeah, I mean... Where is Thrace even? Where is Thrace? Is Thrace? It did just tell me that that was Thrace, right? I might be imagining things. I thought they said that... I thought they said that I broke my alliance with Thrace. But Thrace doesn't exist. So I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. It's possible. It's been known to happen. But I think this is an excellent place to leave this episode. A little bit of a chaotic episode, I will admit. But we're up to 47 regions controlled. We are just three away from the first win condition of this campaign. We'll probably play it out a good amount more. Maybe take the whole map, but in a slightly accelerated fashion. But making good progress, we have dealt some pretty deadly blows to the Brudii. And the Britons, I mean, they won't last long. The Germans shouldn't last long. I, really, the only challenge remaining in this game is Egypt. So thank you so much for watching. I am sorry this has taken so long to continue with the series, and I'm hoping that I will get these videos up as regularly as possible. But thank you so much for all the support, kind comments, and for choosing to subscribe. Um, I really miss this channel. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.